Okay, this is a uh, continuation of the uh, ball handles that I'm making. Uh, the material is stainless steel as mentioned before. Um, I made a, uh, a small um, a bush, a split bush to hold in the three jaw chuck to grip the ball itself. Um, and um, uh, I uh, am uh, supporting it at the other end with uh, a revolving centre. Um, just a little bit of information. Uh, the, uh, the unit here is a, uh, a new tailstock that I, uh, that I built uh, based around the uh, Metal Master uh, lathe um, by Mr. Urich many years ago and um, uh, this uh, design enables me to move the saddle completely underneath the tailstock to the end of the bed if I if I if I if it's necessary um, I use the uh, rack from the original Tag lathe when it arrived I used that part the rack and the pinion to move the quill in and out and um, I have a micrometer uh, stop at the back here for lining up the center in the horizontal uh, uh, direction um, and the top slide here um, I wasn't very happy with the design of the clamping arrangement for the for the top slide so um, uh, having worked on Hardinge HLV lathes for many years um, I decided that I would like to incorporate their locking design that they have uh, on their lathes uh, which is a uh, uh, a pin a floating pin in the in the cross slide and um, a cam operated screw that gives a uh, that, 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 uh, that clamps the top slide down onto the cross slide and it works in a, a, a clockwise uh, kind of um, uh, situation where uh, in the vertical, when the key is in the vertical, uh, you just move it either to the left or to the right about 10 minutes on the clock and you have a, a nice solid lock of the top slide to the cross slide, which is a much better uh, and uh, uh, um, a stronger design. Um, I found that the, uh, the tag uh, design was very flimsy. And, and awkward um, okay so then I had to make a new base uh, uh, for the top slide because um, I couldn't incorporate this hard inch system of locking uh, in the original uh, thickness plate uh, base plate so I made a new base plate a quarter of an inch uh, thicker uh, that allowed me to uh, in, incorporate the hard inch system uh, locking system uh, then that gave me another problem that I couldn't clamp a a tool bit on the top as suggested by TAG uh, because the centre height was now a quarter of an inch higher so uh, what I did was um, I made up a, uh, a V attachment that fits on the end the front end of the of the slide top slide and um, I have it adjustable just like a quick change uh, tool so um, the uh, the holder will will hold a quarter of an inch uh, tool bits which I consider is completely satisfactory for us as a lathe of this size uh, so uh, I went with a quarter of an inch and um, I now have adjustment on the dovetails where I put a allen key in the side here which uh, uh, has a set screw and a, a, a brass pad 
that uh, locks onto the side of the fixed dovetail uh, and uh, allows me to undo that and wind this up and now I can adjust my sender height to get it right on um, uh, the other thing was that uh, in the videos uh, people get the impression I think that probably there's too much overhang here but this is a nice piece of solid um, cast iron uh, not a, a cast steel I should say uh, and it's it's very solid and I've at the moment in using it I haven't found any problem whatsoever regarding uh, stability of the uh, of the fitting so that's the beginning now I've set the cross the top slide over at uh, approximately 1.8 because I want to taper uh, from this end I want to taper down into the neck of the ball uh, to make it look a bit uh, uh, more attractive uh, so that's the process that I'm doing now um, I'll start the I'll start the uh, motor up, the lathe up, and I've got it running at um, 550, 560, 570 RPM, and I'm just going to um, uh, feed this in by maybe 10th hour at a time, and I'm hoping that the 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 split bush at this end, holding the or clamping the um, the ball is not going to slip um, it, it's, a, it's got a fairly thick wall on it I didn't want to make it too thin um, so I might have to reduce the diameter the outside diameter of the of the uh, bush the split bush but everything seems to be working uh, so far um, as you can see I'll put on another 10 and I can probably put the speed up I haven't got a I haven't got a um, a, a crowbolt uh, tool bit here uh, it's just a, an ordinary I think it's probably Chinese uh, uh, HSS tool bit um, I haven't found too much trouble from from these tool bits maybe you have to resharpen sooner um, but on the whole it's it's high speed and and who cares if you have to take it out and resharpen it I mean nothing lasts forever you even have to do that with carbide so uh, I like machining stainless I found it very rewarding you get a nice finish usually um, and it really machines quite well. The the 303, of course, is uh, is uh, I believe uh, free machining. It's probably the nicest to machine. But um, in the work that I that I did uh, during my uh, working life, um, we used a lot of 304. I was in the uh, medical trade, um, uh, uh, working uh, in the medical devices of the physics lab. So uh, everything was um, health-wise. It was important that uh, you use quality material, and uh, of course, uh, it had to be good stuff. So, so as you can see, I'm getting. I'm getting down there now, I'll take a little cut and it's not running too true but it's not bad so I haven't resharpened this tool since I used it last time so I didn't even know what condition it would be in it seems to be pretty good but as you can see, it's quite a, it's quite solid. I've taken uh, bigger cuts than this on it, um, and uh, it's it's really quite solid, even though there is a lot of overhang. Um, I guess 
you know, you use your you use your imagination, and uh, you know, it's just a I call it a roller skate. It's just a a small little lathe, and lathes have their limitations, just the same as any other machine. So. Um, A little bit of a wobble there. Just, yeah, the whole. Hmm, don't like that. That doesn't sound too good. Oh, I have to. I'm wondering if this is. I wonder if this is uh, unlocked. I haven't used this tool very much. This uh, this cross slide and the and the new tailstock. Um, it seems to be there's a bit of uh, movement there. So of course I might have a nasty, and that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Maybe I have it too far out of the, the centre, too far out. I'll try, I'll move it in a bit. Hmm. 